Well, today we're picking the shallots. Um, so this is a 2024 shallot harvest I'll be showing. But before we show them, uh, let's take a walk around the garden here. It's early in the morning. Sun hasn't come up yet. And I uh, just wanted to show you everything's doing great. Um, my giant marigolds are just amazing. But they're taking over the eggplants. But the, there still are plenty of um, eggplants coming. Another week or two, we should have our first Rosa Biancas. And I've been eating some of the potatoes. I've stolen some of the little Adirondack blues. Peppers are doing good. We've, uh, you know, we're using them and eating them all the time now. So, quite a few on the plants. And my cukes uh, had a lot of trouble with vine borers. So, there's some more potatoes. And these cukes over here are the only ones that seem to make it. And these are the little gherkins for pickling. And, uh... We've been enjoying them. We've got some pickles going. You can see the edamames came back where the woodchucks ate them. And this is what we're going to harvest today. They look kind of terrible now, but, you know, we'll look at them better in a second. And there's the beans that the woodchuck ate. They're coming back. We should get some beans out of them. And let's look around here. These other beans we've been eating. These are the other ones the woodchuck, you know, pretty much destroyed. Well, they grew new leaves and took off again got some tomatoes coming uh we've had a couple so far but we should another week or two we should have a lot and our one lonely sunflower this year i only have one sunflower so sad and there's the okra and the onions um these are those Alyssa craig onions we've harvested some and used them and boy are they sweet this year they're not that big not quite as big as in past years but they still have a couple weeks to go i think so we'll see what we get in a little while and our poor zucchini, the vine borers got all the zucchini, so looks like no more zucchinis. We only had a couple this year. Um, that was a change. And the scarlet runner beans are taken off. We love these things. Actually, my wife just made a, uh, a bean uh, salad with them, and oh, they are so good. And there they are. I've got four, four things of them planted this year. Basil's doing good, and there's some cukes that got hit by those vine borers, too. So, you know, I, I did have a problem with a couple things this year. And again, there's some other, um, you know, peppers that are doing good. But let's go back and start harvesting the shallots. Uh, a couple, about a week ago, we had some, you know, really hard rain and windstorm, and it just kind of knocked these guys over. And they just don't, you know, they just. They didn't finish growing, actually, but they're done uh, the way they got beat down. So they're turning brown now, and it's time to pull them out. Uh, not quite as big as they normally are, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, shallots are usually, you know, fairly small anyway. And they're good no matter what size they are. But again, shallots, these are one of those things like the garlic. You buy the, the sets once. And you have shallots for life. Uh, we'll we'll dry these. I'll show you in a second. Put them up on the porch in the sun, and you know get them good and dry. And we'll have them all winter long. And then we'll save a couple of them to put back in the garden next spring. You can see one bulb grows. You know five or six of them like that. So they are very easy to grow. I've never really had any problems. It's one of those plant and forget things pretty much. And again, these beds were just filled with compost, and, you know, that's it. That's what made them grow. So let's pick them. I got one one basket full there. I love these picking baskets. Boy, they were the best things I ever made. Look at them. They're beautiful. Anyhow, got the got all the shallots out, so I wound up with two baskets full. A little bit wet yet because, you know, there's still some moisture from the rain and the sun hasn't come up yet but uh, i got these other beds here so pretty soon i'll be putting in the fall crops in them anyhow you can see the sun's just getting ready to come up over those trees here just a beautiful day it looks like it's humid as hell and it's really going to be hot today again let's take a quick look at the elderberries um i can't believe it there's probably going to be five six hundred pounds of elderberries here just look at the size of those clusters of berries and the flowers. Uh, really amazing. Just going to have a ton. I hope um, I'm feeling good and get to use them this year. 
I just wanted to show you them quickly. So, carts loaded up. Again, and this thing's been running on solar. Great. Uh, we haven't plugged it in yet, and it's pretty much always 100% charged, ready to go. So let's take a ride around here as we're leaving. Going back up to the house to spread the shallots out. And as you can see, you know, everything's doing pretty good. And uh, we've been watering some, and luckily we've had some good rainstorms. So here we are. I'm just going to spread these out on a table now on, you know, a piece of cardboard here and let them dry for a couple days. You want the stems to be completely dry, and that pulls the moisture out of the center of them, and it will make them last until next, you know, next spring when you're going to plant them again. So... Again, there they are. Um, let them dry. They'll wind up in the root cellar. And here, let's go see what the garlic is doing. Uh, I put this down here a couple weeks ago. You can see the, you know, the garlic's hanging down there now and starting to dry out pretty good. I'll give it another uh, another six, eight weeks, and then I'll trim the trim it and put it in the bins. But you know, you can see it does take time to dry this stuff right, so it stores. And I just wanted to share this and, you know, show you another year picking shallots. And, you know, every year is about the same. They always seem to do good. Some years a little bigger than others, but, you know, that's what gardening's all about. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.